So I came over to investigate these recently fallen trees. And fallen trees sometimes create these disturbance morels where around the stumps or around the trees themselves, the morels go a little nuts thinking their tree's dead and they gotta come up and do their thing. So I found this cluster of chunky brown morels. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Look at this down here. Look at that. There's four big ones, two there. There's another chunky over here. You guys are gonna have to see this one. Oh. This is the big one of the day. I thought I had the big one of the day earlier, but look at the size of this dude. Oh my, bam, look at the size of that morel. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is a chunky monkey right there. This is the biggest one of the season so far. I just literally stepped in like, look, there's the road. And I'm in here like, I don't know, 30 feet. And look, look, look at these guys right here. Look at those. There's another one hiding over there, but I saw another chunky. Oh, look, there's one there. Look, one there. But look at these guys. One, oh, one, two, three. Boom. Oh my goodness. Well, I think I found my spot. Oh my goodness. These are big. Now it's like, eh, what am I going to do? I really want to pick them. We're going to get them. So you know how I always say, look at south facing slopes. I'm beginning to think that that may not always be true. Just walked up to this north facing slope. And I see one of the biggest morels that I think I've ever seen. But look what else. We got two right here. We have three right there. Look at all the bugs. This is why you got to soak your morels in salt water, guys. Look at all the bugs. But do you see what I see? Look at this giant monster of a morel. Oh, Lord. Now that is a king daddy. Look at that. <laughs> Dang. So far, it's been a pretty awesome day. The morels seem to be everywhere we're looking. And I came around the corner here and check it out. We got three nice ones right here. We got that dude, and then we got these three. And let's just take a minute, pick these guys up. Nice clean cuts. Those guys are ready to go. Let's see what else we got. Now that we're down low to the ground, I think there might be something there. But I gotta say, this is probably one of my best days in the forest ever. Just everything going right, finding all the, the spots that we want, scouting for some more hunts coming up, and leaving plenty of these things behind to keep growing. But I haven't heard one car, nobody's driving by. The farther you go from other people, the more likely you're gonna get some areas that haven't been hunted before. 
and find successes. And when you find them, mark them down. Remember your dates, remember your elevations, and it's just gonna help you in your future hunt. So I can just feel the stress leaving my body right now because this is this is where I want to be. So great day so far. All right, we're in a new spot, and we're still around 2,600 feet. Found an area where there's a couple of nice morels in here. Ch check this out. Look at this. Beauty. Right here. And there's another one hiding over there. See a third one over there. And I think there's a few more. This is nice. Uh, it's a pretty good spot. Turn this guy out. That's a pretty nice looking morel right there. Pretty nice. Let's get this other guy over here. Another pretty blondie. Another one here. And there's a fourth one, a chunker over here. Look at that guy. Beautiful. I think I saw a few more over here as well. Oh, the there he is. Right there. Oh, another big one right here. Look at that dude. Nice. Not bad for a bonehead. So I came into another mother load spot. Just went a little farther away from the car than before. And check out some of these chunkers. Look at this dude. Look at this monster right here. Big as my hand. As I pan around, check this out. One, two, three, four, five. There's five here. There's two more over there. Check this out though. Another one there. There's a couple more over there. Oh boy. So, this is a north facing slope, so. Forget what I said about south facing slopes. I think once the <laughs> once the ground warms up, there. There's another one. Look at these two puppies right here. Look at that for scale. Just beautiful. Very nice. And look, it's another one up there. Dang. Well, we are wrapping it up for the day. What an awesome adventure this has been. This is probably by far my best day for morels, even better than the mother load last year, which was hard to beat for me as a bonehead, but awesome. We left a lot behind, but man, we filled our bag with some big, beautiful blondes and brown morels. This was so much fun. I can't wait to get out here again. If you guys enjoyed this video, you learned anything from it, give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. And I look forward to joining you again in the next adventure. Thanks for joining me.